Good morning. We're at the beginning of a new week, and I want to talk to you today about God's vision for His church. And so many times we need a new perspective, a checkup from the neck up, where we see things from God's perspective. And what does God's church look like? First of all, we know it's a glorious church without spot or wrinkle, washed in the blood of the Lamb. But uh, God wants His church to be a church that is uh, understanding the Word of God, the Scriptures. And number two, understanding the Spirit of God, full of the Spirit. We have so many people in churches all across America that they are not versed in the Word or the Spirit, and we need both. If you focus on the Word of God alone, you dry up. If you focus on the Spirit of God alone, you blow up. When you focus on the Spirit and the Word together, you grow up. And that's God's vision for His church. Jesus said in Matthew 22, verse 29, You do err, not knowing the Scriptures, nor the power of God. Isn't it true that many times the church of the Lord Jesus Christ in America is happy just to teach the people the Word of God without experiencing the power of God? It is not God's intention that we just know the Word of God without the power of God. It's also not God's attention, intention for His church that we would go to church and just let the Spirit flow without any structure that the Word of God gives, without any knowledge, without any um, a truth from God's Word. We need both the Word and the Spirit if we are to grow up. In the, back, in the book of Acts, after the day of Pentecost, the early church experienced tremendous growth. They were well versed in the Word of God. They preached the Word of God and they uh, demonstrated the power of God by the Spirit of God. Uh, in the book of Acts, you see the lame men walking. You see blind people, their eyes are opening. You see in the book of Acts that people are raised from the dead, that people are healed in mass. Uh, that's God's intention for his church, that we would have both the word and the spirit in operation in the church. Um, there's an interesting scripture in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 15, and uh, beginning with verse 18 and verse 19. And this tells us that the gospel is not fully preached until something takes place. Look at this in Romans 15 verse 18. For I will not dare to speak of any of these things which Christ has not wrought by me. This is the Apostle Paul. To make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed or manifestation. Notice that. The Gentiles, Paul was sent to the Gentiles and the Gentiles were not made obedient simply by preaching the word. The word was preached with signs and wonders following. Now look at verse 19 of chapter 15, Romans. He says, the Gentiles were made obedient by word and deed through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Holy Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem round about Elycrium, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. And so we have not fully preached the gospel of Christ until the word is followed by signs and wonders. It is not an option. It is absolutely required by God. So preach the word, but demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.